danger! Target sighted. Engaging with intent to capture. Subdue the target and prep him for transport to HQ. You guys are the worst! Squad down. Ho, ho, ho! We've got our first caller coming down the chimney. You're live and festive on Just the Facts with J. Joe. Hey, nephew. Meet me at the docks in Hell's Kitchen. I'll be there. What am I gonna do about Finn? Try talking to her again? We could meet her somewhere. At the Science Center or Trinity Church? No. She knows I lied to her now. She won't want to see me. <sighs> Everything you do threatens innocent people. 
Song guy, you still okay? No, we're stable. Controls are still overridden, but stable. Helicopter's free. You saved my life. I'll return the favor. Go on now. No more spinning blades of death. So good. Today I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy's head of R&D, Simon Krieger. Mr. Krieger, you've been out promoting the benefits of your new form reactor. The first of which is set to open in Harlem soon. Yet, you've had some critics. Hmm. Well, first off, Jonah, uh, let me say what an honor and a pleasure it is to be on your show. Oh, well, I'm blushing. And, yeah, you're right. We've had some <laughs> resistance. Most notably from Rio Morales, who uh, looks to be a new city council member in the upcoming special election. And I have a, I have a lot of respect for Ms. Morales. Uh, she's smart. She's a great role model for young women, but 
I think she's putting her energy in the wrong place. Our new form reactors will make this a better city, a better home for New York. Finn, Roxon, Underground, it's just a lot, you know? And not much since I started this. How come I never heard about this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? I set up holograms to guide you. Scan the source. Holograms, huh? You still in my moves? <laughs> this was in my playbook before you even born, young blood. Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds. Clear my head. Scan the holograms, and it'll unlock files on that drive I gave you. Help you figure out which sound you're looking for. Now try and find the original sound and grab a clean sample. Good sound, but it's muffled. Try and get a clear line of sight. Make sure you've got a clear line of sight. Don't want any distortion. There you go. That's the right distance. Not a match, though. Keep looking. There you go. Yeah, 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 that's it. Rest of the sounds you need are spread across the city. I left a few messages for you, too, to help you get a feel for each location. Oh, dope. Hmm. Not now. Hey, get some you like? Yeah, really unique dynamics. See? Old man still knows his stuff. <laughs> and you were right about clearing my head, too. I know what to do about Finn. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? Trinity Church. Tomorrow night. Why so interested? Because you got a target on your back the size of Jersey. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. You know, you said you never finished this tape because of how things went bad between you and Dad. What actually happened between you two? It was complicated. We were too similar and too different. 
Finish the tape, get all the samples, and you'll hear the whole story. Promise. All right. Thanks, Unc. Trinity Church. Remember, Tinker is yours, but leave the boy alone. Man, I needed that. I was beat. Okay, I'm gonna call Finn, as soon as I'm ready to go. who keeps causing problems in Harlem. What? You, you twist everything Spider-Man does into something malicious while simultaneously excusing everything Roxxon does wrong. All Spider-Man needs for you to support him is to get a better PR department. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The only problems Spider-Man fixes are the ones he causes. I won't praise the arsonist for putting out his fire. Meanwhile, Roxxon built a beautiful plaza in a failing neighborhood. By tearing down homes and businesses, our new Spider-Man is proving that Harlem isn't the failure Roxxon makes it out to be. And you, Mr. Jameson, for someone who claims to love New York, you sure do seem to hate New Yorkers. You are clearly emotional, young lady, so I'm invoking the mercy rule on this debate. Jared, shut it down! And whose idea was it to debate a teenager? There are no good objects to destroying a child! Get the car! I need a hot stone massage! Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, he, he's gone. Well, thanks for the debate that you demanded, Mr. Jameson. Yeah. To everyone else, remember to stand up every half hour while working at a computer. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> 